Hello, good morning, and welcome to this episode of Tea Tactics and Tenacity. I am your host, Jen Herman, with Jen's Trends. And in today's episode, we will be talking about whether or not it is beneficial or harmful to put a URL in your Instagram captions. Um, oh, and hello, oh my gosh, we got people popping in already. Marie, hello, you made it, yay! Kayla is here. So good to see familiar faces on this Sunday morning for me. Uh, as many of you know, if you're watching this on the replay or tuning in live, uh, this is Tea Tactics and Tenacity, where we talk about one Instagram tactic. I have my cup of tea, and then we talk about tenacity, something in life that, you know, whether it's mom life, business life, that sort of stuff that is going on in my world that I feel would be beneficial to share with you. So today's topic comes from two separate contributions. Every question that we answer here on Tea Tactics and Tenacity is a question submitted by a viewer just like you. And today's question was submitted by two people, both You First Coaching and Susanna in separate uh, er, circumstances have sent me the same question, which is if putting a URL, putting the URL link destination in the Instagram caption is harmful, beneficial, does it matter, does it have any impact? So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I do wanna take a hot second to say, Thank you for hanging out with me on this Sunday morning. I am so glad that I am here this Sunday morning. So we've been off for a couple of weeks. We were off for, the, for Easter. I took Easter Sunday off and was planning on being back last week. However, I was taken down hard by the flu. My daughter caught the flu. I caught it as well. Hers turned into pneumonia as well. So we have been down for the count. I am still not at 100%. I'd probably tell you I'm somewhere about 80%, uh, but definitely much more functional, definitely able to, you know, do things again, which is great, which is why I have my happy cup, because I'm happy that things are going back to normal. And hopefully we'll be back at school and work and everything like normal tomorrow for Monday. So thank you for being here today and coming back after a couple of weeks off. I appreciate seeing all of you live here with me this morning. And for those of you on the replay, thank you for catching this as well and hanging out with us. All right. So today's question, as I said, was and is, is putting the URL for your link destination, if you're putting that URL in your Instagram post caption, whether that's reels, feed posts, carousels, that sort of thing, is it harming or benefiting you? Does it have any impact at all? So in the, the long range of all the things from an Instagram perspective, from an algorithmic, you know, ranking, all those sorts of things, it doesn't matter. It has no negative impact. It's not going to hurt you performance-wise to have that URL in your caption when it comes to the technical component of how Instagram works. They don't care. When they're reading your caption and scanning it, they're scanning it for things like AI um, to look and see, you know, what are the keywords in there? What is the topic about? Is it about political content? Is it about, you know, violence or inappropriate content? Is it about certain topics so that they can rank you in those various keyword searches? So they're looking to see what your content is about when it's scraping all that data. They don't care that there's a URL in there. They're not going to punish you and say, oh, you put a URL, so we're going to show you to, you know, 30% less people. No, that's not how this works. So you do not need to worry about it from that perspective. Now, the flip side to that is that it does have a negative impact on your user experience. So if I come to your profile and I want to be able to find out more about that webinar and sign up, I want to find out more about that product or service, I want to know where I can read that newsletter, whatever it is, if you've got a long tail URL in your caption, I cannot use it. I can't do anything with it. It doesn't work because I can't copy it. If I choose to copy, it copies the entire caption, at which point I then have to take that entire caption, go put it in a note or somewhere where I can then isolate the URL so I can take the URL and I can go and put it in a, in a web browser. Do you think the average consumer, the average user on Instagram is going to go to that much work to get your URL? Like you have to be giving away a million dollars for somebody to take that level of effort to get the URL isolated from your post caption. So it is not beneficial to put it in your post caption 
for the user experience. The average user is not going to be able to use that. Now, that being said, there are circumstances where I occasionally do it. You can do it if it is a very simple URL and you're just saying like, hey, so for example, I have my membership program, Profit Your Profile, which is an Instagram or a community dedicated to Instagram marketing. And we focus on, you know, different training topics every single month. We do all, you know, guest experts that come in. We have office hours. We do all these amazing things. I love my membership program. And I, you know, frequently promote it on Instagram. And so I will say, go to ProfitYourProfile.com or go to the link in my bio. So from my link in bio, they can go to the page and get to the Profit Your Profile website and find out more and sign up, etc. Now, because it is such a simple URL, it is literally go to ProfitYourProfile.com. It's not go to Jenstrends.com forward slash services forward slash Profit Your Profile. It's not some weird long tail URL. It's literally just Profit Your Profile that people can look at that and go, okay, I can remember, go to ProfitYourProfile.com. So it's still not ideal, but because it's a shorter, easy to recognize URL, it can work, but it still means that you as the consumer have to read my caption and go, yeah, Jen, I'm really excited about Profit Your Profile. Like, I really want to find out more. You've been talking about this for years. You're always saying all these great things about your membership. I want to go check it out. So you go and look at the caption. You go, okay, ProfitYourProfile.com. You still have to leave Instagram, open a browser, manually type in ProfitYourProfile.com, hope that you got it spelled correctly, and then get to the website. It's still a pretty big ask from a, a user experience to say, go to ProfitYourProfile.com. So it's still not ideal. If you do have something where you're sending people to a dedicated landing page or, or you're the homepage of your website, you know, go to abcplumbing.com, you can kind of get away with it. But how often is what you're sending people to on your homepage? Again, it works when I say ProfitYourProfile.com because it's literally a one page website. It's just the landing page where you then sign up and go somewhere else. There aren't it's not my website, right? There aren't tabs and menus and subheaders and all these different things where you have to navigate around. It's a one page website. So it works. If you're saying go to abcplumbing.com, but it's for them to, you know, read your latest blog post, well, then they still have to navigate from your homepage to that and they're going to get lost. They're going to get on your homepage. It's overwhelming. There's all these other things. They're never going to find the blog post. They're not going to go look for it. They're going to bounce off and not get to the destination they wanted. So this only works if that URL is a very simple URL and the ultimate destination for where you want to send them to. So if you're looking to put that URL, if you're looking to say, hey, I want to put this URL in my caption, how do I get people to click on it? Don't put it in the caption. <laughs> you can say, if you wanted to, you know, link below and you could put it in a comment where they could then try to copy the comment and it would be just the URL, assuming it doesn't copy your username and other things. So you can do that. It's a way around it, but it's still not beneficial. This, Instagram is not set up this way. And this is one of these things where, you know, everyone wants the link option, right? Everyone's like, I can't wait until Instagram allows links. And you guys, everybody, seriously, top to bottom, I hope they never do it. I hope that they do not allow link functionality because the moment they do, Instagram is going to turn into a spam lot. It's going to be everybody just posting links everywhere. If you can't post the link in the caption, you're going to either say link in bio and have the link resource there, whether it's on the dedicated landing page, the individual link itself, multiple links within your Instagram profile, whatever solution you want, or say things like send me a DM and I'll send you the link. Comment link below and I'll send you the link. So it gives people the chance to reach out to you and say, hey, yes, I would like to know more. I'd like that link. And that's great for things like webinars or one-time things where you've got that really long tail. <laughs> like it's got all the, the subheaders and, and numbers and all the things that go into a long description of a, a URL for something like a webinar or, you know, a, a one-time download or those sorts of things. Just say comment link below and I'll send you the link. And they comment link, you can then reply to them with a message. Not reply to the comment, but reply to the message and send them the URL. So there's other ways around this that make it a better user experience and it creates a better relationship for you with your users because now you can open up DMs, you can have messages, comments back and forth, that sort of thing 
where you're actually engaging with the audience who wants this information. So one last thing on this topic, the question was submitted by uh, You First Coaching and Susanna was whether or not putting the URL in your Instagram post caption is beneficial, harmful, or has any impact. Again, to recap from the top, from an Instagram perspective, it does not matter. You won't be negatively punished for doing this, but from a user experience, it's not beneficial because they can't do anything with it. On, on top of that, from the user experience, it looks lazy. It looks like you've taken a post that you put up on LinkedIn and Facebook and everywhere else that had a link in it and you went copy paste and put it up on Instagram. So it looks like you're being lazy, which I mean, let's face it, most of us are being lazy. Okay, there's only so many hours in the day and there's only so much content we can create and we can't constantly be editing everything for every single platform. But it creates an appearance for your brand on Instagram and other platforms. It's like when you take your Instagram post with all the hashtags and all the things and you, or you say like swipe for more, but then you like auto post that to Facebook and you, there's no swiping on Facebook. All the photos just appear and you can just look at them. Like you're not swiping through them. It's like, well, you totally just took your Instagram post and put it up on Facebook. It looks like you're lazy. It's amateurish and your consumers recognize it. And if you have like if you have consumers that are not savvy and they're on Facebook and they're seeing swipe and they're trying to swipe, but they can't swipe or they're on Instagram and they're, it says a link, but they can't do anything with it. It frustrates them. You're giving them a negative experience and we don't want that for your audience, right? We want them to have the best experience. And when it comes to Instagram where you don't have that link functionality, we want to make it as easy as possible for them to get that link access without making it frustrating for them. The moment we make it frustrating, they no longer want to work with us. Even if they would love our product, even if they love us, the moment we put roadblocks in the way for them, it doesn't bode well for our brand. So we don't want to look amateurish. We don't want to look like we're making it easy on ourselves and hard on them. It doesn't impress your audience. It doesn't improve your brand awareness and your, your brand recognition, excuse me, when you do these six. So for that reason, you do not want to put your URL in your Instagram post captions. We want to make sure we're saying, go to the link in bio, comment link below and I'll send you the DM. Send me a DM and I'll send you the link. Any of those sorts of things that are a better suited means to get the information to the person and create a better user experience for them. So with that being said, I mentioned Profit Your Profile, obviously, my membership community. And these are the things that we talk about all the time in the membership community, Profit Your Profile, which is dedicated to Instagram marketing. We do trainings on every topic imaginable. We've been doing this for over two years. Uh, and we have guest experts every month. This month we're talking about branding. So I did a session this week, uh, this past week, about branding mistakes that are common on Instagram. We have a guest expert, Kate Payne, coming in next week. She is a PR and branding expert. She's a national speaker. She's incredibly talented. She's been doing PR and marketing for most of her life. And she's incredibly resourceful with understanding how to communicate in today's modern landscape of PR, marketing, and advertising. And she's going to be coming in and teaching all of our members about how to create your brand narrative, how to create your brand story, and then communicate that through PR and marketing in a way that helps give your brand more publicity, more awareness, and elevate essentially your, your brand recognition for more sales and that sort of thing. So that's what we're talking about this month in Profit Your Profile. We always have unique trainings, m amazing guest experts. We've had so many guest experts. So if that's something that you're interested in, please make sure you check out ProfitYourProfile.com or of course, go to my link in bio and you can go to the link for Profit Your Profile from there. Now, I also want to talk about our tenacity for T-Tactics and Tenacity. So as I mentioned at the top of the show, knocked out hard this week, this past week with the flu. And then my daughter's flu turned into pneumonia. She still got a bit of the cough, but we're definitely on the mend. And it happens to all of us, right? Best laid plans. It was her spring break. I'd already planned to have a relatively easy work week because I was like, well, you know, we'll jump out a couple, you know, an hour or two early, a couple days of the week. We'll go beach days. You know, we'll go do some fun things. We'll have mommy daughter time. We'll go hang out with my boyfriend. We'll do all these amazing things. Like we had all these things we wanted to do this week uh, with it being spring break for her and her being out of school. But, you know, best laid plans ended up being on the couch <laughs> where I'm sitting right now is where I've spent 
the last week. Um, this has been my office. I normally never take my laptop off my computer where I have like, or up my desk where I've got like the big monitor, I've got the ergonomics, I've got my big office chair, I've got it all set up, right? Nope, right here. This was my office for like a whole week. And, you know, it's easy to get mired in the the frustration of it all and to be I should be doing this and I should be doing that and we've ruined our spring break and it's sunny and gorgeous and I want to be outside and I'm watching all my friends post their you know stuff on on Facebook and, and Instagram when they're on spring break doing all these amazing things and their kids are traveling and doing all these fun things and we're literally couch ridden like could not function could not move and it sucks but one of the things that is hard to learn in life um, but that we can all benefit from is finding the silver linings and we're going to get sick things are gonna go awry things are gonna go not according to plan things are gonna go off course it happens and they can suck and they can be incredibly frustrating but it's entirely how you look at it and yes I would not wish the week that we had on us ever again or on anybody for that matter because it was it was ruthless we did not enjoy this week at all but the silver lining is, I had a whole week with just me and my daughter, right here on this couch. And we haven't had a week together, just the two of us, in a very long time. We, you know, we travel, whether it's with my best friend or with my boyfriend, we spend weekends with my boyfriend and, and his kids. And, you know, we're off doing things with all of her friends and play dates and, and after school activities and and our lives are busy and it's great. And I am so grateful that we have all of these amazing people in our life. And these are the things I choose to do with our time. I want to be off doing all these things. But it also means we don't get a lot of just mommy daughter time. And as many of you probably know, I'm a single mom. I've been a single mom since she was less than a year old. We've been doing this, you know, mommy daughter time for as long as she's ever remembered. And it was always me and her, right? I would work really hard and then the days when I had her, I wouldn't work so I could give her my undivided attention. Then I took her on 100% um, and I've had her 100% of the time now for over two years. And so she's always here, <laughs> we're always together, but we're always doing these other things and we don't typically get just our time, just the two of us. And we had a whole week and it was just the two of us because I didn't want anybody coming in this house. You know, everyone offered to drop by and drop off food or, or come take care of us or, you know, do you need anything? And I was like, do not come in this house. Like hazmat suit required. It was so not okay. And so I didn't want anybody around. And so as a result, we had this kind of amazing week. It sucked, but it was amazing. And we watched so much TV. We watched so many cartoons and Netflix and movies and, and took naps and we cuddled. I mean, we just had a whole week of just mommy daughter time. And that is my silver lining. That is finding my place of gratitude for something that was absolutely wretched. I, like I said, we were so sick. It was, it was not a good situation, but there's always a silver lining and there's always something to look forward to. And this is one of these things that I have worked really hard on over many years is to find the good in things. And I actually even have a tattoo that says no bad days. Because we have bad moments, we have bad experiences, but in every day there can still be good things. And it's that reminder to find those good things even when you're having a really shitty day, even when you are really sick and it is miserable, but there were these happy moments and there she loved it. And you know, she doesn't wanna go back to school tomorrow because she doesn't want to not be with me. We've had a whole, I mean, we've had more than a week. We've actually had like nine days together, just me and her. Um, although that's not true. We, we, yesterday we started socializing and going out and spent the day with my boyfriend and everything. So we had like eight days, but it, it is this unique experience that her and I got to have. And it was a reinforcement of the amazing bond that her and I have. And so that was my silver lining. And so my, my recommendation, my reminder to you is that when these bad things happen, when things go awry, when our plans get completely foiled, instead of getting lost in the frustration and the anger and all the things of the negative side of that bad experience or not going the way you wanted it to go, 
look for those silver linings. And that's in business, that's in life, that's in your family, that's in your travels, whatever it is. Some things are just not going to go the way you wanted them to, and it's going to suck and you're going to be annoyed. But there's always a silver lining and there's something to look forward to, even in those negative experiences. And it's an opportunity to do something that you wouldn't have done had things gone according to plan. And so it could be something as simple in your business as you were on this trajectory and the universe was like, mm -mm, not happening. And it pushed you over here and that took you down a new route. And maybe you met somebody new to, you know, partner with in your business. Maybe it means starting a new product or service, finding a better solution to something, getting a, a solution to an internal problem that you have been pushing off, but now you have a solution for it. Coming up with a great, brilliant idea as a, as a side detour off the original path. There's always something that can be found as a silver lining when things do not go according to plan. So that is my encouragement for you to find those silver linings, even when you just don't want to, <laughs> even when nothing is going the way you want it to. But look at it when you're maybe like a little bit out of the, the craziness, out of the frustration. Look back and find those silver linings. So thank you for hanging out with me today on Tea Tactics and Tenacity. Again, thank you to both Susanna and you first coaching for submitting today's question related to whether or not you should be putting your URL in your post captions. And thank you for everybody for your patience for being back after a couple weeks off. We will see you again next week for Tea Tactics and Tenacity every Sunday whenever I can get around to grabbing my cup of tea where we talk about one Instagram tactic and we talk about life and things that go on and how those give us tenacity to navigate business and life. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this Sunday. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have an amazing week ahead. Here's to me having a wonderful, healthy, productive week ahead after the week that we've had. Bye, everybody. We will see you again next week.